Okay, so now this is a short instructional video on how to create a Google form for a simple survey. So the first thing that you have to do is to log in so that you can use your account, okay? your Google account okay? or Google workspace. So I started with my email, Westfield's email, and if you will see here, top right corner, there are dots in there, okay? You click there, forms, okay? So that's one way to go to the forms. So if you are there, you can start a blank, okay, document, start a new form. There are other templates given already, but let's start with the blank one, okay? So when you have the blank, okay, you have in there the title of the form, okay? For this one, it's your topic. So you have to encode here your topic, okay? You have to encode your topic here. So better if you copy that topic here to that so that it shows that uh, it shows later on what the form is about, okay? So what am I talking about? When you go back to your Google Forms interface, you will see the topic here, there, topic, okay? So again, you will not write the word topic here, okay? For your output, you will write your appropriate topic in here, okay? So after doing that, you will have to create five questions, okay? And for this activity, the question should have to be a like Likert scale, okay? Uh, an attitudinal scale that measures the agreement of your respondents, okay? So to begin with, start with the topic first, then write your description, okay? In the description, here we will put our instruction, okay? So there. The underlined word there, topic, will have to be replaced by your topic. We're using the same template. Okay. So there, that, that will be the instruction. Take note, replace this with your own topic and replace this one with your own topic. Okay. This one and that one and this one too. So when you have those things together already, now you're ready to create your question or your prompt. It can be in a question form or it can be in a statement form. Okay. Like example, this is my first prompt. I will type first prompt here. Okay? And you will use a multiple choice item by clicking this and finding multiple choice. So after doing that, you will just have to make your um, options. In our case, it's strongly disagree. Okay? Add another option, disagree, agree, and strongly agree. So, for this activity, we only have four options. Namely, strongly disagree, disagree, agree, and strongly agree. Okay? So, those are your options. Okay? So, now, it's best that you require, click this, so that they are required to answer this. Without answering this, they will not be able to send and proceed. So, you have to require it. Okay? For the next one, since we're using the same options just click duplicate or make a copy there and you can just change prompt one into your second prompt okay then it has to go from prompt one to prompt two prompt three prompt four and prompt five so that the stu the respondents will not skip an item make sure that they are all required Okay, all required. Okay, then after that, you are done with the content. Now you have to change the header, okay? So in changing the header, you have to click this, okay? That one. Then choose image, okay? Here. So choose this one, the one with the customized theme. Then choose image. But you have to design your own um, header first. So what you will do is you will create first a Canva design. Open your Canva. Then just type Google header. And it will provide you with um, samples which are um, exactly the same size. Okay, So you just have to choose an example that you will edit later on. 
Okay, so in my case, I would like it to be more simple. So it's going to be this one. Okay. So to make it more like Westfields, I will change the color into Westfields colors. Okay. So I'll use the purple there and the orange here. Okay. So to make it more Westfields also, I'll use my Westfields um, Westfields there font size font style i mean okay, so there so since it's too big i will have to make adjustment okay so here i'll put simple survey for ict 10 class okay so that is how it will work it's up to you on how on what you want to put in your header but for me it will just be like this so as soon as you're done with that, you can put other elements, like example, you want to put the Westfields logo or other pictures, that's entirely up to you. Okay, in this case, I would want to have a Westfields logo here. So I'll add the Westfields logo here so that it's more official and I'll put it on this side. Okay. okay so I can make adjustments with the color and the design so that fits my preference and there you have there you have it so i'll just click share download okay, then download this is just one page so just download as soon as it's done downloading okay as soon as it's complete there it appears there so it's done it's here you can now change your header into that choose image upload Browse, then downloads folder. This will appear. Click it. Wait until it's uploaded. It's perfect fit. Done. Okay, so there you have the header. It's uploaded. See? And you know, Google Form will automatically pick colors from your header. Imagine, okay, look, it, it started from purple a while ago now it's already orange okay so when you're done with your when you're with your um survey form all you have to do is to um send it to people through link okay that's the easiest way click send click the link here then shorten the link so it's better it's easier to send then just highlight that and copy and you can send that okay for your output you have to have a screenshot of this okay this part only not including those parts okay so you have to save this as a screenshot okay so that it appears like that okay so change it into your name your complete name for submission later on okay so see okay. it's my survey form and it's ready so now when you're done with this you're ready to send your survey